was truly, um, it hurts up the real interesting today, you know, with 99 or whatever percent of people dying or the unvaccinated from, from the new COVID stuff and over 90 percent of hospitalizations, especially in Florida, are among the unvaccinated. A female doctor was on this morning. She made the best analogy I've heard. She said that being vaccinated is like wearing your seatbelt, that it doesn't guarantee you won't get in an accident. But if you do, you have a much better chance of surviving. Hey, get your shots. I don't like wearing masks. And as you people who aren't getting the shots that has brought this mask thing back, I'm just saying, take care. How is it that the news and the mainstream information on Florida is that 90 some, what do you say, 99% of those hospitalized with COVID were the unvaccinated? Well, then. Make sense of this. 17,810,446 people, or 83% of the state, have received at least one dose. Well, that means 17% of the state is unvaccinated. So what's 17% of 17,810,446 people equal? Not a problem, folks. Lies. That's what it equals. That's a gigantic variation of numbers. That's a small population of unvaccinated people. So how can they be overflowing the hospitals unless every single one of them is sick with COVID? Not. show two more. Um, the undecided voters were also asked how they think President Biden is doing on the economy. Take a listen. I think he's been absolutely disastrous for the economy. Mm -hmm. I agree. So raise your hand if you think President Trump's policies on the economy would be better for your family personally. Raise your hand. All right. So that is everybody. Right. Even if you're trying to um, buy a house because I'm trying to become a first time home buyer. The prices are so high right now. It's just hard. Is there anything Joe Biden could do or say between now and, and, and the time you vote that would make you feel differently about feeling that his policies would not be as good for your family on the economy? Or have you, have you pretty much decided that Trump's policies would be better for the and, economy? I mean, I feel like he doesn't even take accountability for what's, at all with what's going on in the economy. Not even accountability, like he's in denial that it's happening. Some really important and hard insights for the Biden campaign to hear there and hearing all that. You might think things are pretty bad for President Biden. That was not good. So when I tell you that Donald Trump is not the guy who's going to look out for you, you need to listen. Do not be bamboozled.
unrelenting stream of immigration, nonstop, nonstop. Trump train. Unrelenting stream of immigration, non-stop, non-stop. Trump train. 